Welcome back to Resident Evil Village. We just escaped from Louise's house, but at least we were able to get the insignia from there. Uh, everybody we have met in the past, like, hour or so is dead already. <laughs> and I think we have the last piece of the puzzle to head to the castle. Where I'm sure we'll find even more horrible things. I can use the insignia right there, but before... Before that, there was something I wanted to check. Because on the map it shows a lock. And I thought locks were breakable. Yeah, isn't it this one? Yeah. Is the lock on the other side? Oh, yeah. Huh. The lock icon is like looks like it's on this side. But, yep. Can't do anything about that. Then we have to head to the castle, I guess. Unless it'll let me back out here. Nope. Perfectly normal way for a gate Nothing to open. Like huh? And by gate, I mean door. Got a bit of a trek up there, though. Can I go in the water? Or can I, like, pull this cord out of the water? I feel like it's leading me to something. No, it just ends right there. so good just the way the light glints off the cave walls and the muddy ground is so beautiful I wish I could take that torch with me Ooh, those are all really moldy. The apples are fine, though. Well, well. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Huh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> Little did they know, they just gave me so many scrap metal crafting components. Oh, I'm gonna have so much ammo. Wait, you're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> The man is of no real use to anyone else, and my daughters do so love entertaining foreigners. Furthermore, I can assure you that you entrust the mortal to house the Madras. My daughters and I shall deliver to you the finest. Way, ugly! I want to see! He's awake! Mother, shut the fuck up! What? Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private, and where's the fun in that? Give him to me. And I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Ugh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Yak, yak, if a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. 
Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn hole! And don't be a sore loser! Go find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was welded oh, to Oh, keep glory! Them. One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight! 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 Hey, fight don't fight, I get a say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. There will be no argument. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Huh. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. Let's see what you have here. Ethan Winters. Get ready. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Showtime! Think I'm gonna be running. Yep. Jesus Christ! That's right. Run for your life. <laughs> oh, not this person again. Quite elaborate. Shit! <laughs> My word. You truly are as strong as they say. Oh, you don't think I'd let you get away. <laughs> Gotta keep Dada and Moreau entertained. So now it's time for the beautiful. Am I gonna be safe here? Grand finale! <laughs> Nothing like fresh American ground beef! <laughs> Too close. Wait, do those freaks have Rose? I suppose I lost... Oh, no, I have all my inventory? They didn't take any of my stuff. Thank you for that. Hmm. Other people they've put through their games. Ah, back here. The moldy grape room, or whatever these are. Ethan, Ethan really would have been dead ten times over from that. Getting impaled with metal and getting hit with that massive hammer that would have ruptured, I think, every organ Ethan has. It's kind of like the Tomb Raider thing, you know? Like how Lara Croft, like, 
again, would have been dead 10 times over. Just like, oh, the amount of physical damage they can take is absurd. I mean, the human body is pretty resilient, but not that resilient. Yeah, that's a real body, Scarecrow. It doesn't even seem to be scaring the crows off. They were on it. This is the merchant, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Do all these people have like a WhatsApp group or something? Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. Oh, yes. You can buy additional items. Oh. New stock. No one's a stranger to the Emporium, the Duke's Emporium. Supplies, gunsmithy, and the purse. This would be, sell, yeah, selling items, upgrade weapons to make them stronger, or purchase items. Let's sell what we have. Hmm. Oh, the crystal fragments are worth a lot. I assume it doesn't have any purpose other than selling, so I'm just going to sell it. Same with the crystal skull. Going to keep everything else. Bits and bobs. I see. Well, the guns are worth a lot, but of course I'm not going to sell those. Do you have enough firepower? I can now offer an expanded weapon modification service. I think I'm good on supplies. Like, I don't know. Let's see what stuff costs. Oh, you can buy parts to then be used to upgrade weapons. Recipe for mines. Learn how to make mines using the crafting menu. Sniper rifle ammo recipe. Shotgun ammo recipe. Ooh, that would be that'd be nice. But um, yeah, pistol ammo is really cheap. Like 150 for for what is it? 15 shots? Like that's not that's not for one round, is it? Oh, I think that is per round. Okay, that's actually quite expensive. That's going to add up really fast. No, nah, let's look at the gunsmithy. Can get more damage. That would be very nice. I don't think the rate of fire is really a problem. Or the reload speed. That only takes it from 2.7 seconds to 2.5, which really isn't that much of an increase. Yeah, I think power's got to be the most important thing. I cannot afford that with the shotgun, but let's do it with the pistol. It'll do 10% more damage. Uh -huh. Till next we meet. Bye. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about the Duke character. Like, I heard a lot about how the character is very fat phobic and, and just... I mean, obviously it is. I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah, not one of the most loved characters of mine. Knock, knock.
Could Rose be here? Can I just like break this? I'm such a shitty guest. Oh, this is definitely breakable. That is so ornate. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. And I just broke it. January 5th, Rednick, delivery of one male, three females. January 28th, Mother Miranda, meeting with Mistress uh, Dimitrescu. Dimitrescu. February 1st, the Duke, business discussions. The three daughters. Oh yeah, three daughters, Bella, Cassandra, and... Daniela. Yeah, I think this probably needs to be on. Looks like a generator or something. Why do people keep, like, just pushing cases of ammo inside of these vases? My goal is to cause as much property damage as possible. Fuck rich people. Looks like there's a hole for something spherical. Norstein's Labyrinths. A craftsman of the late 19th century, Norstein was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. Norstein then created four labyrinths, the castle, the house on a hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Jesus. Each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal ball to operate. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be Norshton's four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their graves. Oh, save point. Do we have a map of this place? No, we do, so we don't need to like pick up a map. Wait, there's a the exclamation mark. That's just this thing. Yes. These kind of look like pressure plates. 
Yeah, seems fine. Mask the angel's blinded... What? Oh, no. Looking for Rose? <laughs> Ethan's poor, poor limbs. Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> ah, now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. <laughs> yes, mother. Yes, mother. <laughs> Starting to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, there will be enough for everyone. Udama! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, wait. <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 are you, what are you doing? Okay, she is really hot, though. <laughs> yes, please do step on me. Jesus Christ, I love tall women. Mm. It's a powerful juice. Now we're fine. Oh, we can craft more too. So it looks like a lever, but I can't press it. What the hell am I going to do with that? Is that a key item? Oh, it's a treasure. Oh, I can sell it. She's not just tall, but she's like thick too. Oh. The 
fact that there were so many things I could lockpick back at the village, but I obviously didn't have access to a lockpick makes me think that I'm going to be able to go back there at some point. And there's a bunch of other stuff that needed keys as well. So I'm definitely going back there at some point. You cannot be let, like, left alone to live. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Everything is so ornate. Ooh, cup of blood there. Everything's covered in blood. Oh, is there a pathway down there? Yeah. And I have to go there. Hey, rats. key item. Why does that eye look like it's an actual eye that's going to like follow me and look at me? An eye-shaped gem is loosely set in this ring. It looks like it will come out with some effort. Blood red gemstone in the shape of an evil eye. Don't know where I'm going to use that. just goes back to where we were, but it's unlocked now. Where have they taken Rose? Oh. Those are things I thought looked like pressure plates. Oh, it needs things set in place. It looks like it needs three double A batteries. <laughs> Yeah, three, one, four, two. So what did this say? Mask the angel's blind mask the angel's blinded gaze and only then will you be saved. Not irrelevant yet. I think that's gonna be something for this puzzle once we get whatever goes in these slots. Let's go save. We meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Domitresque? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? If it's just looking, window shop away. We have a fragment and the glass is worth 3,500. Nice. Mm -hmm. I should probably save up for the power upgrade on the shotgun. I feel like that's the most important. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. Thank you. 
Uh, this, there's no way the Maroon Eye goes in there. So much pistol ammo. Oh, this is so pretty. Like everything in here is just unbelievably ornate. Just the styling on the staircase, this. Oh, that just links up with where we've been. So that's unlocked now. Yummy cup of blood. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitrescu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitrescu uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sanguis Virginis, <laughs> meaning maiden's blood. It's kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Sounds like something I could maybe sell. Hmm. <clears throat> that is probably what goes here. When I find that special wine, it goes there and then it does something probably. That'd be my guess. I love that you can hear faint noises of the castle. Just like, I don't know, shutters like moving in the wind and things creaking, just very subtle things, but it's never just completely silent. There's always some little thing you can hear. I like that because, well, people live here and also something this big, it's just, you know, material contracts and expands and wind moves things just like houses are kind of alive Oh, that's where the eye goes. That's horrifying. Ugh. Oh, hold on. Hmm. 
Mm. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Taken alive, dead, which would you prefer? I can't hold back any more. Uh, can I go in here? Yeah. Okay, I think that did it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff up there I missed, but whatever. Whew. Oh, some real vintage wine bottles down here. June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, uh, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. That's where I am right now, isn't it? Oh! Um... I shouldn't go forwards more, right? I don't want them to see me. Just... Yeah, maybe just... Um... Doesn't look like they want to move, though. Do I just go for it? They're holding that wine, that special wine. Oh, they have to duck to get through the normal size doors. Fuck, why is that so hot? What? Why are there a bunch of dead chicks here? What the hell? Ew. So they took the bottle with them. Did so they lock the door behind them? Yep. I think these are just barrels of blood. to get it to light these two things. Yeah. Uh. Come on, eyes adjust faster. I can't see anything. 
Oh, fuck. I have a flashlight? Okay. Right. This is where they keep their prisoners. This is the jail. This is where they torture. This is the torture place. It's covered in dried blood. Candidates, Arena, Mahela, Lois Ingrid, Rejected, a bunch of names. Arena, robust appetite. Mahela, robust appetite. Lois, robust. Ingrid, unstable. Overly alert at times. Woof. Huh. Ah, oh, yes, shotgun ammo. Oh, shit. Should you maybe turn your flashlight off? Can I? Is there a flashlight button? Mm, doesn't seem like there is one, so I guess it's fine. That looks like something that's gonna wake up. Yep. I got hit once. I think I hear more. Yes, but I think they might be in the distance. I don't think they're at Grode. Can't tell. Uh, we're still green, so our health is fine.
pipe bomb. Oh, that would have been good when there was a cluster. Oh, fuck, I have a mine on me, too. Right. That also would have been good. Oh, I think there's one coming, but I'm not exactly sure where. Ingrid's a necklace. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Glad that didn't blow my feet off. I think it only got one though. Okay, hold on, I want the pipe bomb on four. Yep, there we go. Oh. oh, there's more, but they're not coming just yet. Can I go in here? Nope. A lot of them, maybe all of them, like crawled out of holes, crawled out of the ground. They're like in the dirt. Yeah, like these holes, I think, is where they came from. Worm people. Cassandra caused all this mess. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I need blood. Warm, <clears throat> wet, bright red blood. I know there's another thing in there I missed, but I don't think I have time to really grab it. Where are you going, little one? <laughs> Your bullets cannot harm. <gasps> ah, light. <laughs> you stupid man thing. <laughs> So, um, I just killed one of their daughters. 
they're gonna extra not like me. So is that that's not a key item, it's a treasure. I'm gonna sell that? Weird, but okay. So they're vulnerable when they're exposed to light. Obviously the light itself didn't kill them or even really damage them as far as I could tell. But they were completely invulnerable to bullets before the light. Suspicious chunks of meat. Very, very suspicious. Another one was sent to the cellar. She had only spilled some soup. Everyone knows what happens when you're sent to the cellar. You're never seen again. They drain your blood, your soul cursed to wander the halls. I went looking for her, and when I found her, she was just skin and bones and gnawing on a rat carcass. I suspect it'll be my turn next. The wine! Yes. Sanguis Virginis. Can I go back? Okay, I can. Good, yeah, because there's some stuff I left here. I think that's it. Coil compensator. It's an upgrade part. I could do it in my inventory. Customizable part for increased firepower. Equip it. Yes. Thank you. <gasps> Lock pick. that used for oh it's just a treasure and the necklace too I don't know if treasure items would have special things that you could find by examining them but just in case Oh, I guess I could do the torso as well. Grim but beautiful. Oh, I love how those windows look so much. Oh, the noise when you break that, you can suddenly hear the wind and everything from outside. Oh, that was beautiful. 
But yeah, it did look way cooler with the window intact. <laughs> so uh, I think I'll leave the others intact. Yes, beautiful. <sighs> ah. We're back here. Okay, we're near the safe room. Welcome, welcome. You're sure to find something new. If it's just looking, window shop away. We have a lot to sell. Fragment, three crystal skulls, crystal torso, which is worth a crap ton. The wooden statue, the necklace. Yeah, 14,700. Oh my god. This should be enough. Wow, I have so much money. Yeah, let's get the power on the shotgun up from 560 to 640. Leave this to me. Seems like that's as much as I can be upgraded. Firepower wise. Yeah, things like reload speed and ammo capacity, I don't feel like that's that important. What about rate of fire? From 0.45 to 0.42. That's not much of an increase. Nah, I don't think those are worth it. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Mm hmm. Hair trigger. Customizable part for a shotgun. Greatly increases rate of fire. Hmm. That'd be good. High capacity mag for the pistol. Greatly increases ammo capacity. I think let's go with those. Oh, hold on. Extra baggage. Increases the number of item slots available in your inventory. Ooh. How are we doing? Please come again. We're not really in risk of running out of inventory space yet. Shall I choose something for you? So I, I really want that, but I'm not gonna get it just yet. Let's grab these two upgrades instead. Yes, I can see why you'd be in. So the shotgun's gonna shoot a lot faster now. This is a high capacity magazine. Get the pistol. Interested in that. Oh Thank yeah. You your patronage. 16 shots instead of 10. Very nice. And I'm not gonna test out the super fast fire rate on the shotgun. <laughs> I feel like that's only gonna be really important for like, I don't know, boss fights or something. Because for normal enemies, I'm not gonna wanna pump tons of shots in them. I'm gonna wanna shoot once, stagger them, and just see if they died or not. Don't wanna waste the ammo, you know? But that, I think, is a good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, I think the next thing to do is use that fancy bottle of wine upstairs.